I'm Carolyn Heslop. I'm the Public Programs Manager here at the Canadian Canoe Museum in Peterborough, Ontario. The Canadian Canoe Museum is a unique heritage centre that explores the canoe's enduring significance to the people of Canada. The Canadian Canoe Museum's collection began with Kirk Whipper, who was a director at Camp Candelore near Halliburton. And Kirk Whipper began collecting canoes and storing them at the camp in the dining hall and eventually into a large log cabin. In around 1997, the collection was moved into Peterborough. We have the largest collection in the world of canoes, kayaks, and paddled watercraft, and a number of award-winning education programs, adult artisan programs, and we are a really family-friendly museum with exhibits and galleries designed with families in mind. So you can sit and read a book to your child about the canoe and have them playing with a Lincoln log set at the same time while they build themselves a canoe shack. One of the reasons I love working at a destination in Peterborough and the Quarthas is that I get to meet a number of visitors to the area who are here to tell us their stories about the canoe. A big focus of our galleries here at the museum focus around the original craft, so the first canoes and kayaks used prior to Europeans arriving, prior to any settlement of any sort, um, were the First Nations people and their craft are featured upstairs. We have a large collection of birch bark canoes, uh, seal skin kayaks and the big dugouts from the west coast. Those types of craft were used for fishing, hunting, living, moving around, culture, art, long before anybody else arrived in Canada. Then those original craft were used by early traders to open up different routes within Canada and trade with the First Nations people. Um, and that's sort of where the story of, of European settling, settlement comes in. So that's sort of where the story always begins when you talk about the Canoe Museum is with the original, the original people of Canada. And so when you start to see all these stories linking together, you start to realize that the canoe is a really important part of people's life, um, even if they don't realize it. Once they get here, they realize the history of Canada and how the history of Canada can be told through the canoe. And our story as Canadians and basically the rest of the world as well.